welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different today for today's video. We are actually going to be talking about all things that give you the glow or things that are like highlighters, powder highlighters, um, liquid illuminators, things like that. I'm going to talk about my favorite ones. And the funny thing, this video actually came to me when I was editing a makeup tutorial that I was doing a couple weeks back. And while I was editing the video, I had said in the video that I was applying a highlighter that I haven't had, I didn't try yet. And I said, holy glow. And it actually like came to me and I was like, oh my gosh, holy glow? Like, that could actually be a pretty cool video to film, like my favorite highlighters that give you like a holy glow um, or things that are just like my favorite illuminators just it kind of gave me an idea it sparked me and that is why I am doing this video with you guys today so before I waste any more of your time let's just go ahead and get started so like I just mentioned to you in the intro these are products that I either love because they are a powder highlight or they're one for like all over the face that gives you like an all over glow so how I've kind of um, categorized these products is I'm going to do the first few are going to be ones that are made to go underneath makeup or mix in with your foundation that give you like an all over glow, more of a dewy finish and not such a matte look. So those, um, that's what I'm gonna talk about right now. So I'm gonna go from least radiant all the way to most glowy, holy glow products. So here we go. The first product I wanna talk about is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops. I am obsessed with these, these are beautiful. They, it comes like in this dropper form. So it is something that you can either mix in with your foundation or I actually apply it, I will shake it up and actually apply it straight to my brush and then I just use this as an all over glow um, mixed in with my foundation. Or I just apply it to my sponges and just go in like that and then just press it over my face and then go in with foundation after. But I really like this though because it's really low maintenance. It's not something that is a big mess. It doesn't leave your skin like sparkly, chunky glitter. It honestly is just a beautiful product. The formula is very thin. It's really nice. I'll actually show you guys so you can kind of see what it looks like on the back of my hand. Don't mind my hands. They are super dry. Every time we go into winter, my hands, my knuckles tend to bleed because they just get so raw and torn up and I'm constantly washing my hands, constantly in alcohol, like trying to, you know, kill off all the germs. So when it comes out, hopefully you guys can kind of see it. It looks kind of gold, but when it goes on, it is so beautiful. It just leaves your skin with this really nice glow. It's not something that you can see sparkles. I've actually even used this on my body, like if you're wearing dresses or if you're going out, you wanna look a little bit more glowy. Um, I'm like a dried lizard, so I like to have as much glow as I can, but I really, really love this product. So for my next one, this is also by Tarte. This is the Tarte Brighter Days Highlighting Moisturizer. This stuff is beautiful. Now this actually gives you a little bit more of a iridescent look. It's not like a moisturizer that would be like pearly or champagne. It's more of like a, a blue purple pinky glow to it. So when it comes out of the tube, it comes out white as you guys can see here. And when you massage it into the skin, it kind of reminds me of like a rainbow trout. I know this sounds terrible. Not because it smells like fish or anything. It doesn't smell like fish, but it kind of leaves your skin with like a pinky pearly bluish look to it. Now this is a product that you would use before you apply your foundation. So don't worry, you're not going to see like blue glow underneath your foundation. It really just looks really nice, healthy, glowy skin, but with this really nice like tint to it. Does that make sense? I like to apply this all over my face, even on my chest, and then I apply my foundation after that. But this definitely had to go in here because it is one of my favorite products, and I don't think a lot of people talk about this. I have the mini size, this is really tiny. Normally it comes in a normal like moisturizer bottle size, but this is just the mini one in case you're wondering. For my next favorite illuminator, 
I definitely had to put this in here. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is beautiful. I would say this is definitely more illuminating than those first two products. This is seriously so beautiful. It comes out kind of like a... Um, it looks like a pearly shade, like it has a little bit of like goldish kind of color to it. Um, when you apply this to the skin though, it makes it, it doesn't really matter if you're really fair or you know more medium skin tone, it's going to look good on everybody. This, this is definitely a step up if you're looking for more illumination um, but you don't want to have a powder one. This is a really nice product, I, I really really like this one, definitely my top favorite. And I like it too because it actually, like it looks good underneath makeup. Sometimes I've tried illuminators then I put my foundation over top of it and it really doesn't look good at all. So I really like that one. Um, again, that is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. For my next favorite, you guys know that this is going to be in here. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. I am obsessed. I love this stuff. It's really soft on the skin. It's not something that's really heavy by any means. The one thing I like about it is it actually fills in a little bit of my larger pores right in my T-zone area without mean without being too matte. Because most of the time when I get something that is a pore filler, it tends to turn more matte on me and then I apply my foundation and I don't really like that. But I really like this one because when you apply it to the skin, it really is this soft formula and it does manage to fill in pores, but it leaves my skin with the most beautiful radiant glow. This one, you can actually wear it on its own. You don't have to wear a foundation if you don't want to, but it just leaves your skin with this nice glowy tint. I really like it too because it doesn't matter what skin tone you are, it kind of adjusts to your natural skin color. So. I am obsessed. I also wear this on my body as well if I'm going to wear something that is showing a little bit more skin. So I love this stuff. And the last one I want to talk about that goes before foundation or mixed in with foundation is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. This stuff is awesome. I think it gets overlooked because a lot of people think that oils will clog your pores or it doesn't look good, it's just going to melt off your face. All different things, all different reasons. Um, I really like this for my deeper girls. So if you are deeper in complexion and you can never find a right highlighter that doesn't make you look like you have a streak or doesn't make you look like it's ashy toned, a primer oil is going to be amazing for you because it doesn't have any color to it. So again, it's just like in this dropper form. It is a dry oil, so it doesn't matter if you are oily, if you're not oily, it doesn't matter what skin tone you are, or skin type you are, excuse me. But this is so nice. Here, I'll try it for you here. I'm just going to take a clean um, beauty sponge, and I'm literally just going to take two drops. So I just took two drops on that, and I'm just going to pop, I know I have a ton of highlighter, I'll talk about the Holy Glow in a minute. But all that you would do with this is just literally press this right over top. Hopefully you guys can even see that it's intensifying the highlighter. But because this is a dry oil, it's not going to separate the rest of your makeup, so you don't have to worry about it. Now, if you went in full handed and just like put on 20 drops on a sponge and then went in like oh, right over top, it would probably separate your foundation, but literally less is always more with an oil. So you're just going to press it right here and hopefully you guys can see that it is literally just going to intensify the glow that we already do have. Like you can definitely tell the difference. And the nice thing is even if I get, like sometimes I'm, I mean I'm very dry so I love anything that gives me any sort of glow at all. So sometimes through my forehead powders can look even more powdery. So I'll actually just press this right over top of where I might be a little bit dry or I might look more powdery and it really just does leave my skin with a more beautiful glow that doesn't look like it's like straight up oil or like an oil slick. So hopefully you guys can tell on camera that it kind of gave me just a nice natural glow instead of looking like I am an oily grease ball. This is also really great to use on the collarbones or mix in with a um, self tanner. I also have done that before to make my skin not look so dry when I have to apply body products. So I am obsessed with this one and this one in particular again is a dry oil so you don't have to be as afraid of it. There are some on the market that are not dry oils so you might want to be more careful about putting it over top of your makeup but if you were to put any kind of oil underneath your makeup it would definitely leave your skin really glowy. Okay, so moving on, I wanted to talk about the Laura Geller 
Easy Illuminating Stick. This is in the shade Ballerina, and I really like this. I feel like Laura Geller is not a brand that is like super, super popular for some reason, but I was really blown away by this. I actually bought it for a shoot. Um, sometimes illuminators can be too illuminating, if that makes sense. So I actually bought this because when I was working, I was gonna be working on a photo shoot, and I wanted something that was gonna make the skin look slick, but not like you could see powder, not like you could see any um, color, not like you could see product at all, because I was gonna do a really very clean look um, for a skincare ad. So I wanted something that was gonna be obviously illuminating, and I wouldn't, I didn't want to use the oil, I just wanted to use a stick form. So I was really impressed with this. Like when it goes on, hopefully you guys will be able to see here, it does have like a little bit of a color to it. It kind of looks gold or, yeah, there we go. It kind of looks gold, but when you blend this out, it is so pretty. Sorry, I just realized I was using my middle finger. It is honestly stunning. It is more like a pinky pearlescent, like natural glow, but it leaves the skin just, it doesn't look chunky, it doesn't look powdery, it doesn't look glittery. It's just a beautiful formula and I was really impressed with it and I wanted to talk about it because I know that this kind of looks gets overlooked. I know she's known for her um, like the Gilded Honey pressed powders, but sometimes powders don't work for every skin type because some of us are more dry or we don't like to put any powder on our face at all. So if you're looking for something in a stick form and you want it to be more of a natural but still glowy look, I would try this guy out. This one also is really great for more mature skin types um, because sometimes when we have a lot of texture either from acne scars or anything like that um, or if you have like crow's feet or you have deeper wrinkles around the orbital bone area if you put more powder on it kind of accentuates and makes everything look worse so having something that is a little bit more natural but still gives you a glow this is a perfect product for you. This next product is actually another one that would be really great for more mature skin clients. Um, this one actually doesn't accentuate, it doesn't have chunky glitter, and it's a really soft formula. Like, it's not a holy glow product, which is nice because not all of us want to wear highlights that you can see from the moon. I got you. This is the Natasha Denona Glow. This is in the shade number, number one, light. Sorry, this package is so beautiful, but it is very reflective so there you go this is the glow palette this is what it looks like inside it's very much like um like opal from becca really it's like very similar color i think um but it's not as intense it doesn't make it look like you have it's not like a really strong highlight it's better for more mature clients i'll swatch it here for you so you guys can kind of see that's going to be a terrible area to swatch because i'm not going to be able to show you where that is so here's the product here it is more of like a natural glow. It's not something that is super dark. It's just a really soft glow. It's not something that will make you look any more textured if you do have texture in the areas that you want to highlight. If you feel like other powder highlights accentuate areas that you don't want to accentuate any more than they are already, if you catch my drift, then this would be a good product for you because it's more of a natural glow. It's not something that's over the top. It's very soft. You can keep powdering and putting it on. It doesn't look powdery. I really just, I really actually like this for more mature clients. So going a little bit more intense, these are much more affordable than, oh man, I just stuck my finger in it. I definitely had to talk about these. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. I have two shades here. I have this one, which is Precious Petals, and I have this one, Crown of My Canopy. So I'll show you these two shades on the back of my hand. Now I'd say if you are super, super fair, you might not love these colors. I actually don't have any other colors from them. I don't know if they have more shades or not, but I'll show you on the back of my hand here so you can kind of see. So this is Precious Petals, and this one is Crown of My Canopy. Now I actually wear Crown of My Canopy even on my lids. Um, I've actually mixed it in with lipstick as well. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but if you want a more metallic look on the lips, you can also apply this to a lipstick. You can do anything. Um, just because it says a highlighter for the face doesn't mean you can't mix. So keep that in mind when you're playing with your makeup. Don't feel like you're structured into one thing. You can use things for multiple uses. The Precious Petals is the one that I've been using recently. 
and it is it is glowy like it is really beautiful it's very soft like just going like this you get a ton of pigment it's beautiful I love these I think I paid like five dollars for these at Walgreens from there I'm gonna talk about another one of my favorites obviously that's why we're talking about favorite highlighters but this is by Urban Decay and this is the afterglow in the shade sin um, this is what it looks like here now if you are a lot more fair and can never find a good highlighter that doesn't make you look like you have like bronze as your highlighter this might be a good highlighter for you it is very soft you get a ton of pigment when you like swatch this it is very light it's very pearly it's a great formula it's very soft right here again this is in the shade sin I like it because when I wear this one it doesn't look powdery sometimes like you can pick out a powder highlight and you put it on and it's like why does this look so powdery but I really like this for when I don't have any self tanner on and when I need a highlighter that obviously matches closer to my skin tone this is a beautiful color again by Urban Decay my next favorite is definitely this one. This is by Tarte in the shade Stunner. I probably have three of these, not even exaggerating. There's at least two in my professional kits that I travel with, and this one is the one that I own. You can tell I've hit pan. Honestly, this is like my go-to shade. This is a very soft formula. I would say it's a little bit softer than the Urban Decay one. This one is a very similar color. Um, if I had to choose between the two of these, because they do look very, very similar, this is that one right here, this is by Tarte, uh, but if I had to choose between the two of them, I would definitely choose the Tarte one. It also has like a, we not a weird, sorry, it has a sugary smell. I just think it, it's, the formula is really nice. When it goes on, it looks even more foiled, like it has, uh, not so much of a sparkle or a shimmer to it. It honestly looks more foiled. I think you can tell on the swatch. I'll swatch the Urban Decay one right next to it. Again, they're both really soft, kind of similar in colors. The Urban Decay one is a little bit more golden. So this one is the Urban Decay one, which you can kind of tell that it doesn't look as foiled as the Tarte one looks. So. There is a nice comparison between the two. Again, this is the Urban Decay one, and this is the Tarte one. And I just, I feel like I lean towards the Tarte one more, just because it leaves like a foiled look, and I think it looks, if you're looking for a, a beautiful glow, then I would go with the Tarte one, for sure. And a bump up from there, even more glowy, let's talk about the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. I have two shades here. These are beautiful. Um, I remember when I first started in cosmetics, I, well not first started, let's be real, not first started, but when I first um, got really big into highlighters, these were definitely, definitely my favorites. And I love them because they just get their formula right, they get the amount of pigment right, they don't have chunky sparkles in it. Honestly, if you're looking and you want to spend, I think these are around $30 per one. Um, so if you are looking for something that is mid-range, because there are a lot of highlighters that are even more expensive than $30, I would definitely check these out. So I have the shade, this one is Moonstone. For, this would be perfect for anybody who is very, very, very fair, even more fair than the Urban Decay one. I would definitely check this out. Again, this is in the shade Moonstone. I will swatch it here for you. The pigment you get, look at that. Look at that, that is crazy. It's so good. This is in the shade, again, Moonstone. It's very light, very pale. It's so beautiful. Um, and my other shade that I have here is Opal. My Opal one is broken. We won't talk about how it got broken, husband. But um, <laughs> this is a very beautiful shade. Again, the formula is super soft. This is the shade Opal right here. It's just, they just, they have the best highlighters. They have tons of colors. They have really topaz bronze colors. They have the really, really light colors. They have the middle range. They have rose gold. They have um, a couple like beautiful, like different kind of mixed colors. But for all around, Becca has the best highlighters, I think, honestly. They have the best highlighters. Um, you can find Becca in Sephora and Ulta. This next one I want to talk about is definitely more affordable. If you guys are looking for 
either an entire palette or just a few highlighters that you can use in a palette that are very affordable. Um, I think I paid around $15 for this entire palette. This is the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics Deluxe Edition Palette. Um, it comes in this beautiful package. It has rose gold on it. It's a pretty big, it does come with a mirror, but it's a pretty big palette. Um, the All the round shades right here are all eyeshadows. And then all of these right here are all highlighters. So these are holy glow. These are holy glow. I am obsessed. I love. The formula is so smooth. I can't believe how incredibly affordable this palette is. Carly Bible is another YouTuber here on YouTube. She's amazing, talented, so beautiful. Check her out. Um, but this is her collaboration with BH Cosmetics. I bought this palette at Ulta. I know that you can also buy it on bhcosmetics.com. But um, this shade right here is the one that I have on my cheeks right now. And it is holy glow. Like, it is holy glow. Texture-wise, I'd say it's pretty similar to the Tarte one, the Stunner shade that I, is probably one of my top favorites. It's very smooth. It has like more of a foiled look. It's stunning. It's so beautiful. Um, again, if you are more fair, they also have this really light, it look, it's very white looking. But honestly, if you're super fair, look at how, look at that. It is so soft. It's beautiful. There we go. So they're very foiled. They don't look powdery. Like I, I'm very impressed. And to pay like $15 for a huge palette like that, Yes, please. And then I'll swatch one more here for you. I'll swatch this really dark one because I know that the deeper complexion girls, like, girl, I feel your pain. I've worked in cosmetics and I'm like, why is there no highlighters for anybody? Like, why are there, like, mid-tone, but there's never enough for the really fair girls and never enough for the really deep girls? Like, I feel your pain for sure. So here is the dark one right here. I mean, full pigment. Like, that is, that is amazing. And don't feel, again, like, don't feel restricted on the uses. I use highlighters for eyeshadows. I use eyeshadows mixed in with lipsticks. I will find a reason to use everything. <laughs> so if anything is too light or too dark for you, uh, just think about using it for eyeshadow. And the last ones that I wanna talk about are another Holy Glow. These are new to me. I've used them for the last couple weeks now. Um, I have all the shades that the brand has. So they are these guys right here by ColourPop. They are incredible. I typically wear the shade Nomi. Uh, they each come in these little pots right here, the little jars. They are a loose powder. So I think that is like my not favorite part about these. Um, but they do have a sifter. They don't tend to like get all messy. Um, I'll swatch this one here for you. Like, these are holy glow. Like, I, look at that. Like, so here is that shade right here. This is the shade Know Me. Now, I will say, if you are more of a mature client, um, don't want to accentuate anything. Even if you have really acneic skin, you don't want to see a lot more texture than maybe you already do have. I would say these are not for you. Um, because the reason is is because I can see glitter in the jar and what that does glitter is um, Obviously gives texture more dimension. So it looks more bumpy. It looks more textured If you have a lot of fine lines or wrinkles around that area They'll kind of sink into the lines and then just like brighten that whole area and make it look worse So it kind of accentuates everything. So if you are trying to stay away from a illuminator or a, you know, whatever I wouldn't go with these, but if you don't have textured skin, if you aren't worried about more fine lines or wrinkles, anything like that, these would be perfect for you. I paid $6 each for these. I would use it as like a, a lipstick topper. You can also use it as a shadow. Um, here, I'll take one for example. Let me just pop on. Let me show you the other shades first before I move on. This is the Oravor. I don't know how to pronounce this shade. So this is the second deepest shade. So again, this is right here. This is Au Revoir. Au Revoir. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a little more golden, a little bit more bronzy. I really, really like it. And then I will also swatch the dark one. Again, this is by ColourPop. They do only have these three shades. They don't have any more shades, but I really like that they the shade selection that they went with for something that's newly launched. 
And this deep one is in the shade Dewdrop. It looks actually darker in the jar, I think. That right there is Dewdrop. So this is Nomi. This is Au Revoir, however you pronounce that. And this is Dewdrop. Talk about Holy Glow, these are definitely Holy Glow. And I actually think that these were the ones that triggered this video. I think this was the product that I was applying to my cheeks and I was like, Holy Glow. But as I was just saying, like if you have a highlighter that's either too dark or maybe it's not the right skin tone color for you, you can always use this on your lips. Like for example, I'm gonna take Au Revoir. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'll put it here on the screen so you know what I'm saying. So I'm just gonna take my ring finger and just dip in here, and all, ooh, that was a lot. All I'm gonna do is make this as a lip stick topper. Because if you get products, especially when you buy it online and you don't wanna return it, like, like push yourself to try something new. Like if you wouldn't normally use this on your lips, like try it. You might be surprised at how you like it, and you can literally turn it into a metallic lipstick. So that's it you guys, those are all my Holy Glow products. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you soon.